Welcome to a mini lecture about reduced, alternating and connected diagrams. Um, we're going to see some important theorems uh, that tell you a lot, uh, that tell you that you can learn a lot about a knot or link by looking at its diagram. But those theorems only apply if the diagram is reduced and alternating and connected. So this mini lecture is about telling you what those words mean. So these are three properties of diagrams. Okay, here we go. So we've got one column for each one. So let's start with reduced. Now, in order to know what it means for a diagram to be reduced, we need to know what it means for a crossing to be removable. A crossing is removable if deleting it would give you a disconnected diagram. Now, disconnected means you can draw a circle uh, in the plane uh, that never meets the diagram, but which contains some of the diagram inside it and some of the diagram outside it. So, I tell you for free that there is a removable crossing in this diagram somewhere. Can you see where it is? Well, it's not this one, right? Because if I deleted this crossing, um, there's no way I could disconnect any part of the diagram from any other part. And uh, just to really emphasize it, I couldn't possibly I, I'm not allowed to try to separate this part from the rest because I'm not allowed to I, I have to imagine that the that I can't break through a crossing so this gap that it looks like I've driven through here this gaps not there it's just how I draw under crossings okay so this crossing here not removable however this crossing is can you see it if I remove it then the resulting diagram is disconnected and it's disconnected because I can draw a circle in the diagram in the plane that contains part of the diagram but doesn't contain all of it yeah so this circle doesn't meet the diagram contains some diagram doesn't contain the rest so this crossing that I deleted was removable so let's draw that there now that's what a removable crossing is what does it mean for a diagram to be removed uh, to be reduced it means it has no removable crossings so once again a diagram is reduced if it has no removable crossings consequently this diagram is not reduced because we found a removable crossing on the other hand this diagram below it this is reduced uh, if you ch you can just check each crossing one by one uh, none of them is removable now uh, if you're feeling keen then I suggest you pause the video and try and think about how did I get what is the relationship between the second diagram and the first one ask yourself that well the answer is that I removed I got the second diagram from the first one by removing the removable crossing how do I remove a removable crossing I, I look at one side of the removable crossing I the bit I can separate with the circle and I pick up the circle and I rotate it 180 degrees and put it back down again and what that does is it removes the removable crossing but don't worry about that okay so let's move on to the next property alternating alternating is very simple uh, a diagram is alternating if as you travel around it uh, every crossing you go through alternates this one you go over the crossing the next one you go under the next one you go over the next one you go under so on and so forth wherever you start on the diagram so this diagram here is not alternating it's not alternating because you can find in it consecutive crossings of the same kind so just for example here are two consecutive over crossings they show you that the diagram is not alternating and here are two consecutive under crossings because the diagram as we travel around the diagram goes underneath both times whereas here the diagram went over both times okay so this is not an alternating diagram whereas the next one is alternating how do you check it well you just in your head start somewhere on the link and travel around checking that you go over under always so let's start here travel around under over under over under 
over, under, over, under. And then if we start here, we go over, under, over, under. Okay. Turns out that drawing it on is a bit rubbish for you lot, uh, but you can just see that as you go around, uh, you do go over and under in an alternating way. So that's what it means for a diagram to be alternating. And uh, these were the diagrams called L7. These were the links called L7, N1. Uh, N, because it's not alternating, doesn't have an alternating diagram. And this is the thing called L7, A1. A, because it does have an alternating diagram. Okay, so now let's move on to the definition of connected. Well, we've heard about it already. So the first diagram here is not connected. And it's not connected because I can draw a curve, it's going to be a circle, inside the plane that doesn't meet the diagram, but that contains some part of the diagram inside it, and that there is some part of the diagram still outside. So this curve separates the diagram into two pieces, so the diagram is not connected. On the other hand, the next one down is connected. There is no way for me to draw a curve in the plane that separates the diagram into two pieces. Or, what's the same thing, if I start on the diagram, uh, I can get anywhere else on the diagram by traveling around it, possibly turning corners at crossings if I wish. Okay, so this is the notion of reduced, alternating, connected. Now, uh, here's an important point. If I start with something that's not reduced, because it has a removable crossing, then I can remove the removable crossing by doing that little uh, maneuver that sort of untwists part of the diagram and puts it back down again, untwisting the removable crossing. So if I f take a diagram that's not reduced, I can make it reduced by repeatedly getting rid of the removable crossings. Similarly, if I start with a diagram that's not connected, let's take Let's take ourselves a diagram that's not connected. There it is. If I start with a diagram that's not connected, I can make it connected. How do I make it connected? I just do some kind of rider to move two. Uh, so let's, what we do is we, uh, we make space for a rider to move two, and then we just move a little closer. There we go. So if my diagram is not connected, then I can make it connected. However, um, if I start with a diagram that's not alternating, there's possibly nothing I can do to make it alternating. Let me put it another way. There are knots and links that have no alternating diagram. Uh, this second one here that we see is one of them. It has no alternating diagram. And we're going to see ways to show that kind of fact. Okay. So that's the end of the mini lecture. Ah, no it's not. I would like to end with a warning in bright red. The warning in bright red is that these properties are properties of diagrams, not of links. So just as the thing uh, we are always doomed to get wrong is uh, the difference between a diagram and a link, that can really happen here. So take great care. Okay, that is the end of the lecture.